All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Israel campaign. This is, uh, I think, the seventh episode, and I'm actually, I'm still very excited to be playing with these sort of lesser used, like, you know, pre-1985 units. And I really hope that there is sort of another custom campaign that I can play. And I know that the campaigns cannot be that custom because they're obviously built on the maps that exist. Um, but honestly, yeah, it says South Korea here, but it doesn't really matter to me because the units that I'm using are Israeli. The units I'm facing are like these, well, I guess, sort of fake Syrian units. Um, I'm very much still very down with the whole way this has been going. Now, obviously, we retreated in the last episode. We cannot use and pull these guys back from Nazareth. However, the units from Afula and Tiberias, we all fell them back to Beit Sha'an. And now the cool part is that all of these are fully replenished and ready for another battle, which very likely will come. They will all push into Beit Sha'an, and we're going to have to hold that or we lose. Now, obviously, we defeated them in Mount Moran. Now, the thing is, and this is a, kind of a brutal question, what are we going to do? We cannot leave Namaria the way it is. If we do, it's a guaranteed loss. So first, we need to find, figure out what we're going to pull back and what we're going to keep up front here, if at all anything. Now, I've been thinking about this, and I think what makes the most sense is to basically glab, glab, grab everybody to come back into Namaria, including the planes, and now we're going to have to you kind know, of secede this territory back to the Syrians. So they'll attack us. We'll hopefully defeat them here in Namaria. And then they'll push back into Mount Moran, which means another large battle ahead of us. However, we did obviously destroy a large quantity of their units. So it should have impacted their strength quite a bit. So we're going to end the turn there. Turn five. And as you can see here, Namaria, they pushed in here. And obviously, Beit Shan has also been pushed into by the enemies. So we're going to have to fight over both Beit Shan and uh, Maria, two very important battles uh, here in this particular turn. Obviously, Beit Shan, we're going to have to hold that regardless. And, well, if we don't really do good up here, then there's no way we can kind of push back into this area and capture River Jordan. The good thing is, as you can see here, the units have been absolutely destroyed by there's still 223 tanks in this one. But that's about it. As we can, I'm trying to scroll down there's only a couple of zu anti-aircraft left in this one there is no anti-aircraft ball besides those zu again and then there is just a few cub and os and by few i mean still 24 so we still have to do our best and try and deal with these the best way we can but this is only about 400 ish units maybe 450 if you count them all up together look at this 850 almost Double the amount that's in this, and they have a ton of infantry and a ton of tanks. We're going to have to watch out a lot of vehicles as well, just light doo-doo vehicles, and a ton of planes and helicopters. We're going to have to hold our ground and somehow do it. And though I don't think we can hold Chirwan. I don't think we can hold Sandang. The idea is we're going to hold Bravo. We're going to have our naval sector Bravo, and we're going to just call in as many reinforcements as possible that are amphibious, uh, that are on transports. We still have our naval tab with, I believe, like 20 tanks and an absolute buttload of infantry. As we can see here, we have uh, Gavnuni. Well, that's actually not a lot of infantry. I just realized that. But we should have also some Gavati, which is another basically 20. And then we also have some M60s, of which we have eight and some light boats for support. So is this a great scenario? Absolutely not. Is this a decent scenario that I think we have a chance at winning? Yes. So what we're going to do, we're going to be right back as I set up my defense. All right. So we're going to be setting up this defense a bit weirdly. I have a lot of AA here in the middle of the city. A couple of lighter ones here in the back. The rig and helicopter, a couple of uh, T-62s. Our infantry are screening the main road. And we're going to get some infantry in the form of ATGMs uh, and um, AA sort of stinger infantry to come up. Actually, we're going to delete these ones if we bring up the stinger infantry. We're going to get a Beku because it does have, a believe, a 29 or 2800 meter range, which isn't great. We're going to have a Kurnas and Nayit on standby with 115 points in case we do need anything else. We're, let's just get this one going and see how fast we cannot die. This is going to be really interesting to see how this one's going to go. Let's get everyone back out of here. Let's get these guys moving forward. Let's move up the boat. And uh, this one's going to be brutal. 
I just realized I don't have a CV uh, that I just kind of totally forgot about. So why don't we actually just get an infantry CV out here as we uh, move up, get our Ayit to move forward and get our Kurnas to hit those four T-62Ds right there. Uh, this way we can deploy them, deploy them, get the boats back down here. And our Beku actually uh, taking down one of their... Uh, oh, we got a plane coming in. I don't know if we have anything necessarily. We have nothing on standby for that. So we're going to have to hope that our AA can uh, make short work of them. That's one down. We lost one of our... Okay, we lost... They lost both the planes. We lost, I believe, just one Gavuni, which is annoying. But what we'll do, we'll just get another one in here. And hopefully uh, we can save the day with that. We'll get our Bardalas deploying. I said, get out of here, get out of here, go, 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 go. Let's get ourselves some nets, because it is really awesome to hit these guys with clusters. We actually need to place these guys a little bit. There we go. All right, awesome. That's actually not bad. Our Beku is dealing damage, is exactly as I hoped. We're going to get clusters on the T-62s. Perfect hits. They're both down. And our T-62s in general here are actually not doing that bad. Our FOB here is fine, can resupplying these guys. And I think if we are in range, we could potentially replace men in the front building. I'm not sure if this is going to work out. I don't know if this is just in range of it or not. If it is, that'd be perfect. We could just replace guys by putting them in the back building. Some uh, BMPs, we can probably definitely deal with those. Get the Bartolas with the CV to push out. And the other one is here just uh, arriving. BMPs are gonna hold it. Get okay, awesome. So we're actually resupplying these guys through our FOB, which is uh, fantastic news. So we'll get the CV unit to deploy, get them to hold fire back here near the FOB. Gavati are dealing amazing damage. And next up, I guess what we could do is we can get some of these Messiat with the 40 mic mics, which aren't necessarily the best, but you can put them uh, somewhere in the second line and they'll still do damage with their uh, long range explosives which is obviously what we're looking for here. Some recon. Another recon helicopter would be great. Perhaps one on the other side. And our infantry here has to be resupplied. So we'll switch these two around. And look at that. Without any sweat being broken. I guess you can't, you can't say to not break a sweat, but can you say without sweats being broken? I guess it makes sense, but... Move those over there. Dealing with the Jaguars. Oh, these guys took some big old hits. So Jaguars are pretty decent tanks. They're about the same uh, quality as our Merkavas. So, I mean, they're they're pretty good. We are obviously keeping them here uh, at bay in the city. Let's push these back one building. And perhaps we can actually land some Shaitet. Do we have any naval Shaitet? I don't think so. We have Gavati, but okay, so our airborne. Let's actually get a squad of these guys just because it would be sweet to get them to uh, come over here and help deploy their better AT. I mean, it is in the end, it is just a lot better than the average AT. Now, I believe what we can do is mix these together. Not these, these. And they can go pick up the Bardalus, which is obviously a lot faster doing it that way. And we mix these guys together. There we go. And we have found our comrades in arms here. The form of the Mark 19. So we'll put those up towards the front as well. And we can push up there and there. It's a lot of just organizing mainly because everything has to come off these boats which is kind of annoying um, but at the same time it's the only way I could do this without losing a billion vehicles I thought so why don't we uh, get some helicopters it would be nice to get some helicopters and we'll get them a separate recon helicopter as well um, and we'll also get a Baz on standby uh, in case we encounter any um... okay I guess you're not going to be using your oh, you're dead if you're not that, you're really lucky. Well, you're really lucky, I suppose. Bastard. Well, he's not dead, but he's damaged. That sucks. Oh, moves a Gavati across. They cannot flank us here. If they do flank our city, we are in big trouble. 
Are you flying over? Hopefully, uh... Oh, there we go. Look, we picked up the, uh, Bartolus. A yeet missile away, and perfect, another one out. That's fantastic news. We found another cup, or cub, I should say. Uh, Gavati, pull back one, pull back this one. Man, this is actually going a lot better than I thought it was gonna go. Our right, Gavuni, push them up one. Recon, it would be sweet to get some helicopter born recon. Actually, if we uh, no, let's, let's keep it like this for right now. Let's hopefully we can disable this cub. Missile away, missile away. That's a miss. Oh, you better hit this next one. Nice, good. That's perfect. Okay, and then helicopters push them up. Our LCMs are pushing forward with the. I believe those are the uh, Shaitet 13. They're attempting to hit my Beku. That's fair. That's fair game. We'll just have to uh, figure something out. Move it around a little bit. And also, it means we can probably try and hit their artillery back here. Although it would be nice to get an Ayit and a Baz. A uh, second Baz for cover. And an Ayit here just because I can. Ooh, that's a lot of infantry to hit with a Kornas with the giant missiles. So we'll do that actually. Well, I, mean, I can call in 12 Kornases. That's horrible. That's just, that's, that's a lot of, like, just killing power you have. So we'll actually push these all forward. Kornas misses away, that's 45, and zero! That is absolutely brutal. Um, we are, still aren't getting our turn just a little bit. Uh, move our bar to last back. Recon. All right, we need to get some units for. I don't think any of these. This is not amphibious. Nope. We need to figure out what's going on here. Uh, these tanks. We'll push them up. As we are now obviously still looking. Let's get another yeet going out because that just okay. That's just recon or uh, supply vehicles. It's a BMP. It looks like. Our Shaitet are pushing. Oh wow, they just fired a lot of missiles really fast there. That was crazy. Naval, let's get one. Uh, let's get these monitors just down to the river. And see if I mean, wouldn't. Oh man, this just got obliterated. Uh, ooh, you know what? Yes, yeah, sewer here to resupply those missiles because they are firing them really fast at this moment. And push these Gavati up one. Tap them with the uh, RPGs. Hello, Ayit. It's time for you to fire missile, missile away, perfect hit. That's right there, I think, is where artillery was hitting us from. And now we're just gonna push up, oh, our artillery, hopefully, been enough. oh, it'll be explosive. Well, if it's explosive, it doesn't matter as long as it's the main three in the street. Good, it's missing. ATGM's coming out, that's a lot of ATGM's. We gotta hit those with our Tsevas. Good, as long as we're stunning them into suppression. Stunning them into suppression? Whatever, you know what I mean. There we go, AT gyms have been dealt with. At least for right now. Navy. We don't really have anything. I guess we could call in a CV helicopter for later that I do intend to use. Turn this off. As we are pushing forward. Very much attempting to. T-60s are taking some light hits. Hope we could take out some of these uh, enemy vehiculars. We might need another Ayit. I don't think we have any left. It sucks. Nets. These things are, are just down at our 20 Vulcans, I think. But I'm sure we can make them work. Kornas, get out of there. No hits. No hits. No luck. I'm all ears. Damn, they're doing damage over here. I'm right, moving up my Shaitet. 
These uh, T-62s are just being absolutely hammered by my dudes. Oh, come nice, another one down. Let's hit these trucks. Let's fuck them up. There we go. Okay, we are at nine minutes left, so we're about halfway in the game. Ayit go over there. Kurnas hit this. Nets spotted a T-55. It's TCV, I should add. Let's go reload. Oh, he's really hoping his Ayit would kind of overtake. Oh, the Kurnas. Oh, no, the Kurnas. 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 The Kurnas. Oh, I got saved so hard. Oh, man. He's got two. Oh, there's uh, an AA over there. T-55 has been hit by clusters. Nothing super damaged, but it's definitely not alive as much as it was. Uh, okay. These guys are all good. We can finally push into the city. Uh, let's get some more Gavati to cover this sort of flank. Now we're sort of repositioning our men, I suppose. Get them to re-up, or uh, heal up. Get our Siphon Picut in here. And now we are just making some massive ways inside of this area. The second we uh, capture this, we actually can uh, deploy our men from the north of uh, Tunakora, which would be fantastic. We captured a fob, and now, oh, look, boys, oh boy, oh boy, they're coming at us hard here, however, so we gotta kind of think about how we're gonna deal with this in a second. Our CV helicopter is coming in. This isn't, uh, this isn't gonna be an easy one. They're hurting our fob at the moment. Pulling back my infantry. Just one Kurnas missile away. This could be good. Oh, there's a lot of so bunched up fix. Perfect! One missile totally missing their goal, but still hitting and doing a ton of damage. Let's get our uh, ugly armor brigades, I suppose you want to call them that. Let's get our ugly armor out of here. And man, let's call them in and just start doing work on this side of the map. Oh, hello, hello, hello. All right, now we're spawning in behind them. Uh, we have our monitor Zippos here working on them with uh, 40 millimeter Bofors. Look at that, causing some damage. And I believe we can also call in these monitor 105s, which aren't necessarily the best, but uh, they'll do their job. Now we do, 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 do they kind of, they decapped this area, which means I have to look for their CV, but we'll use a rig helicopter and uh, our uh, infantry to sort of start searching for where this CV perhaps deployed. Uh, between all of these tanks up here, which is just a ridiculous amount, uh, we must be able to find at least where one of, uh, of those CVs has been. Is that it? That's infantry running. That's not it. Okay. There's a CV right here. All right, Nets, you have a target. Uh, Yeet, you have, I guess, nothing. Um, we're going to just fly out see if we can see anything. These tanks con uh, control, or sorry, Q move through the city. I totally forgot to resupply these guys. We'll do it right now. Uh, yes, sewer. Might as well do it to you, too. Our Zippos are about to be out of ammo, but they have been destroying. I believe our boats are capable of going up the river, which is perfect, too. So we'll have these uh, boats. See, there was a range in our flamethrower, which is a thousand. That's not a lot. We'll have the uh, Yeet go north. Actually, I think I saw another two Osas being here, so let's pull it out before it gets destroyed. A lot of ATGMs coming out now. Ooh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Let's pull back into the trees over here. I uh, actually have these tanks move over there as we are now trying to deal with a large amount of forces coming our way. However, however, save us. Oh, we spotted something AA shooting at us from right there. That's going to suck. Uh, do we have Ayit's available? Yes, we do. We have a Kurnas available. Ayit, I don't know if it has eyes on right over this hill or if it even was anything radar guided. It could just be infrared like the Osa. Uh, we do have 70% of the destruction points. Our Zippos are in flamethrower range, saying hello in a very, very brutal way. We're just going to do a drive-by. We've captured this area. It would be great if we could actually secure this for the Israelis right here at the end of this battle. Nets going out with some clusters, trying to stop these guys from hitting their targets. Clusters overshooting. These M60s are now in trouble with their uh, 
quite a few AT gems hanging them close up. Monitor Zippo's not giving a single shit. They're just driving on through with their napalm. Look at this. This is like fucking... Oh my god, it's like the Vietnam War all over again. We spotted one of their T-55 CVs. We gotta find out if we can k take him down. Our Nets and the Kornas are on the way. They don't have eyes on. No eyes, no eyes, no eyes. Where did it go? We gotta get our Regan helicopter over here. It's uh, it's slow. It's only 205 or 220 kilometers an hour. So we gotta we gotta try and figure out if we can get eyes on that again because that would be fantastic. We have an entire amount of just boats. Oh, that's bad. That is bad for Regan helicopter. It is in a bad location. Nets and get out of here. We found out where one of their uh, can we get this monitor 105? So they're hitting this area with uh, our saturation fire. We'll hit the LCMs back to base. All right, save us are ready for action once again. Uh, we are somehow there's just guys driving around here. Our M60s are still very much alive. Our flamethrowers are doing the worst damage of all, though. They're just hammering infantry and light vehicles alike. Their CV obviously has fled the area here, but oh, there it is. Our Aigeets send them back in. Although we need to just take out that. Oh, damn it. We need to take out that T55 recon. Don't know where it is. Don't know where it went. We need to find it. Two Aeats flying over. We got recon coming up. Oh, these monitors need to push down the river. There's the... Oh, no. There's batty persons. No! The supplies are being hit by RPGs. It's like the Suez Canal. Whoever owns the canal wins the Middle East. We got to we got to get on these guys over here before they mess us up. We found a T55, hit it with a missile. One away, one away. Uh, we're not going to see it, but I think it's Oh, that's a hit. That's a kill on a CV. That's the game over. It said enemy surrenders. Okay, they did lose 3555 points. We only lost 105 including uh, two s transports. Uh, so uh, that was fantastic. And they are fleeing towards Mount Moran, which is a good and a bad thing. The good thing is that we are not having to fight sort of a, a, a waiting war where we're stuck between enemies sitting over here, pushing us, we're killing them, they're going back. However, they just supplied them with an extra 700 units which are obviously going to be in a different situation now that we have to uh, come towards them instead of them coming towards us. However, the battle for Beichan, and it's going to be a bad one, and we're going to save this for the next episode because I'm honestly really surprised how good we did here in Namaria. So next episode, it's going to be hit or miss, and I really hope that we're not going to be a miss. If we do win this, we can call these reinforcements into Beichan. Hopefully we can push them out or at least keep them stuck with us we'll get these extra reinforcements which we're looking at some extra Merkavas some extra helicopters some extra infantry although these guys are really really bad this is unit that's been holding out on the uh, on a map of all the bridges for basically forever so we're gonna have to try our best hold Beichan and we'll see you guys in the next one cheers